What's up, guys? It is Wednesday, the day after July 4th. I can't believe what's happening. NVIDIA's up. I saw NVIDIA's literally the first thing I saw when I looked at the TV just now was Tesla. And it was down $17. Apple is down too. Uh, but AMD is up a decent amount. Well, of course, now it's not going to show. But, oh, there it is. Look at that crap. Jesus. So, I looked at the, um, the news. I was looking at the headlines on the phone. And, of course, guess who downgraded them? Goldman Sachs. Like, they downgrade everything. Pretty sure they probably want to buy more stock with them. Yeah, so this sucks. Um, we have five calls. Probably going down a crap ton today. So, let's just log in and see what the damage is so far. Alright, so we're not actually down that much at all. Um, I just set a stop order though on Tesla just in case. Uh, the price was at like 1380 and then it actually went back up a little bit to 1460 So hopefully this is as low as it gets. I really don't know. One of the big news headlines was Volvo is deciding to go all electric or hybrid with their cars. They're not making any more purely internal combustion engine cars anymore. So... I guess they're scared of, investors are scared of that increased competition, but again, I am not because I don't, I mean, I can't imagine Volvo making a sexier looking car than Tesla, to be honest. I mean, Volvo has some nice cars, I guess, but they're not as awesome looking as Tesla. Plus Tesla has the solar panels and the power banks. They got more things going on than just the cars. So I think people, again, are freaking out and overreacting like they always do. I'm just kind of hoping that we can hold on to this and it'll come back. I really don't want to sell my, my options, so yeah, so we're just going to keep an eye on it. Um, so I was thinking yesterday, like how much more damage can I take? And I think I decided that if I drop below 70000 for the year, I'm considering just selling everything and like really thinking about what I'm gonna do. I might go back into stocks and I might diversify over a bunch of different sectors like retail or something, well, not retail, but like the, st the stuff that are pretty solid that don't really move a lot like Home Depot or some bank stocks as well as tech. So I'm, I might have to adopt that strategy if I dip below 70. Um, I just don't wanna lose any more than we've, we've lost. So that's the strategy right now. Hopefully it, we don't, it doesn't come to that because I really do love the companies that we're in. Um, I just hope June was just a really shitty month because last year June was bad also. like We barely squeaked out with a profit last year in June. And then July we started making a lot more money and then August and September we made decent money. So if this year is the same as last year, hopefully the worst is behind us and then we can um, come back these next three months. So I guess we'll have to see what happens. What's up guys? So it's 10 o'clock and um, as you may have seen in a way, way previous video, usually around this time uh, your stocks will reset for the next day and but something weird just happened. So first of all, let me show you what the actual balance was when I checked right at like 3.15 p.m. I had 77,056 and now it's showing 78,011 and it actually had gone, it went down like 20 or 40 bucks and then it went back to where it was and now it's up about almost a thousand. I don't know why. So, and it's also for some reason showing that at t is up a penny and then it's showing these two are down. And even though the market is closed, it is still showing this, which I don't understand. I think it's a glitch or something. I have no idea, but I'm gonna put an actual screenshot from my actual balance on the left side of the, your screen here. So you can see how we did for today. Um, we had a lot of good performing stocks and um, the, really the only one that really hurt us was Tesla. And let's just talk about Tesla because that's really what was in the news today. So that was like the big piece of news for us uh, since we have um, some money in Tesla. They were downgraded by Goldman Sachs. They're talking about increased competition from Volvo, which Volvo has yet to sell an electric car as far as I know. So um, I think people are overreacting just a little bit. Also, they're talking about Elon's kind of new forecast for the deliveries are way lower than last year. Like last year he said 
he could they wanted to produce 100,000 vehicles model 3s by 2017 and now he's just saying like they want to do 100 by August, 1500 by uh, September and like 20,000 a month or something by December, which is way less than what he said last year. So a lot of focus right now is on the Model 3 and it's not really great news according to a lot of people. So that's why the stock took a huge hit today. And I actually anticipate the stock going down a little bit more before it starts to come back. And so I'm most likely gonna have to be selling my options tomorrow. And I'm just gonna hold on to that and wait for it to come back and um, or like wait for it to bottom out and then I'm gonna get back in because I do still think it's gonna go back up. And here's why. Okay, so we have Volvo, right? Volvo is a pretty reputable company. They have pretty nice cars, but they're not like the nicest looking cars, to be honest, in my opinion. They're not like the sexiest cars on the road. And, you know, you have the Chevy Bolt being sold. Again, not not a car I'm like drooling over. Not, not, not a car I'm gonna be picking up chicks in, even though I have a girlfriend, but if I wasn't, if I wasn't with my girlfriend, I wouldn't be picking up girls in a Chevy Bolt. I think what they're what they're missing here is the branding and the crop the quality of the cars. iPhone has a lot of competitors, but still iPhone outsells every other phone almost every single year. So just because iPhone has a lot of competition, um, they're doing just fine. And I think the same is going to be true with Tesla. When you tell someone, "Oh, I got an electric car," they're gonna be like, "Oh, what kind did you get?" And you tell them, "Oh, I got a, a Leaf." They're like, "Oh, that's cool." Oh, I got a Bolt. Oh, that's cool. Uh, good for you. Um, I got a Tesla no way dude let me let me drive in that car with you please like let me take a ride with you like that's going to be the reaction so tesla just the brand itself the name brings with it a level of craftsmanship and quality that people envy and that's going to continue even when volvo comes out with their car even when all the other cars come out tesla's still going to be the electric car to get even like the bmw electric cars which they look they look a little too futuristic for me and the i8 um, looks really cool, but again, it's still net it's overpriced and it's not even that much It's not even better than a Tesla. So BMW I think kind of went way too crazy with there so like Tesla I think is the best electric car out there right now and I think the storm is gonna pass I'm gonna I might jump out of the ship right now and just wait um, For it to kind of bottom out and then I'm getting right back in because I'm still I still think Tesla is going to do amazing things with their cars not to mention their cars drive themselves better than, I don't think any other electric car can even drive themselves. So that's my long rant about Tesla. I still am very bullish on them. I think the analysts are overreacting. I think the market is overreacting, uh, but because they're overreacting, we're gonna lose money. So I think the smart thing to do is to jump ship right now, wait for the storm to settle, and then get right back in at a lower price. And then when we are proved right and people like the Tesla Model 3 and they keep buying it and buying it and their stock goes back up, we will make a lot of profit on that. So that's where, that's where I'm going to leave it. And so I want to ask you guys, what is your opinion? Please comment below how you feel about Tesla as a brand, as a car. What is your favorite electric car? If you had to choose an electric car and you had an unlimited amount of money, which one would you get? Uh, please comment below. I want to know what your thoughts are. And so with that said, thank you guys for watching. If you did like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe and all that good stuff. Thank you guys again for watching and we will be back at it tomorrow. So you guys have a great night.